Aloha and welcome to another episode of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Chantelle Seville. Now today I'm real excited to share uh, my own personal journey with you in an episode all about being healthy and fit while you're pregnant. Uh, we've had a lot of requests coming to the studio about um, how to do this because um, I'm full term now and um, I'm still been able to manage to be healthy and fit. So I thought what a perfect opportunity as this may be one of my last episodes for a little while if the little one comes soon to uh, to share the journey with you and hopefully inspire you whether you are pregnant or considering getting pregnant or um, yeah, one day down the track want to uh, have a baby if you're a young savvy chick watching. So first of all, I'd like to start with the why. Now, why be healthy and fit while pregnant? I mean, there are so many reasons, and the one I want to get out of the way first is you're not eating for two. So <laughs> when people say, oh, I'm pregnant, I'm eating for two, this little one is very little. She's very little. She's not big my size, so she's not due to eat, you know, your 2,000 or 1,600 uh, calories per day. So that's, um, that's one of the most important things to, that I remembered right from the beginning is to you know, eat well and eat healthy, and you don't need to eat a ton extra, and it's not, it's not your excuse. So, so <laughs> sorry to get that out of the way. So when you are, you know, throughout the, um, like throughout the pregnancy, they'll give you the doctors will give you a different indication of how many extra calories you should have a day, and it's really not that many more. It might be like two or three hundred per day. And again, I'm going to let you know this is just my experience. I'm not an expert, though. I feel like I am a little bit of one just from experiencing it. Uh, so yeah, so please, anything that I do say, consult with your physician or um, an expert on, on the matter. But this is my personal experience and you know, it is just a little bit extra and I tried to stay on track to doing what was, um, what was right for me. But the other thing is you're not only staying healthy for yourself during the pregnancy, you're also staying healthy for your baby. Um, so with that, you want to make sure that you're eating the best that you can eat because if you're not doing what's eating best for you, this is the time in your life that you really need to be healthy. Like, why would you want to not be healthy for this little person you're growing inside? Like, you just want to feed them cake and cookies, but yet not want to look after them? It doesn't make sense. So this is a really, really important opportunity to look after that person inside you and eat the best that you can be, because when they're born, you don't want to feed them sugar syrup. You want to feed them <laughs> good milk and... Um, so that's another reason it's for your baby. Uh, another great reason is it keeps you really a lot better in the mindset. Being pregnancy with hormones and everything can be quite challenging. And if you can eat well, as you know, it affects all your, your emotions and it does help a lot to keep you clear. And I'm not saying it's perfect, not saying being pregnant is easy, but I definitely can assure you that getting those endorphins from keeping fit and eating well really, really assist in a, in a great way. So be sure to um, make sure and stay healthy and fit while you're pregnant. Now, the other uh, few reasons are for labor. I mean, the fitter you are, the better your labor is going to be. So it's really important that you stay fit during the pregnancy to make your labor easier. And I haven't been through labor yet, so I will get back to you. <laughs> but that's what they say. And everyone I've spoke to who has been quite fit has had a quite a better labor. Not to mention, makes it easier to get your healthy, confident body back after the baby. And it's not about, you know, being perfect. It's just about feeling good about yourself and feeling like you're in your own body and you've not completely lost yourself. So those are a few of my reasons as to why it's important to stay healthy and fit while you're pregnant. Now, I'll take you through my nine month journey. Just bear with me here because I got, I've got my little earpiece in because we're expecting some calls during this episode. So if you are watching, please be sure to call us on 415-871-2474. That's the Think Tech Hawaii hotline or tweet us at thinktechhi. And you can tweet a question um, about health, fitness, wellness. There we go, I've got you in my ear so my production manager can ask the questions as you call in. So I'm very excited to answer some of those questions. Now to the next part is my nine month journey. Well, it's actually 10. So um, the start of the journey is your first trimester and that basically is three months. Those three months, let me tell you, were the hardest. <laughs> when you're not knowing what you're expecting, being my first, I was tired. I was so tired. I felt like a little like being hungover for those of you adults watching this most days. So you don't know what you want to eat. Some of the things you used to love, for instance, I love coffee, didn't want anything to do with it. I would go line up for a coffee at the coffee shop because I thought I wanted one, only to just be so repulsed and turn out of the line not to have coffee. Um, chicken, love chicken, didn't want to touch it. One week, all I wanted to eat was bread and butter, which I rarely eat because I know with my, my body, it doesn't respond as well to bread and butter. 
And you know, the other thing is not to be too hard on yourself because I called a friend of mine who's a nutritionist when I was eating just bread and butter every day, sometimes a few times a day, that was my meal. Uh, and I said, Justina, I'm eating like sourdough bread and vegan butter all day long. And she said, Chantel, you're eating sourdough bread and vegan butter and that's a problem. Bread is not <laughs> so bad when you're eating healthy. So if you are craving these other things, just make good choices about what types of um, foods you are eating. I wasn't eating potato chips and, and dip, which I mean, I don't know. Some people are different when they're pregnant. So if you can try to reach for the healthiest option, that's going to help you a lot. So um, that was in my first trimester. Now, I also got very, very tired. And as you all know, I'm quite self-motivated and I love exercising and getting out there moving, but it was really challenging for me, to be really honest with you all. Um, so I didn't know how I was going to get through this. And what I did was contacted a personal trainer and just thought if I could get even a couple training sessions just to keep me on track because I knew if I lost it then, it was going to be a lot harder to get my fitness back down the track. So I ended up doing some semi-private sessions just down the road from where I lived. It was enough to get me up and get me going and keep me training through that first trimester. And that's all I needed because by second trimester, 13, 14 weeks, I was brand new again. I felt like myself. I wasn't being sick all day. I, luckily, I didn't throw up, which a lot of people do, but wasn't being sick, wasn't nearly as tired, didn't feel as emotional, so it was fantastic, and I didn't need the trainer anymore. Um, so that was about from sort of May, and then it ended up in, it was by July, which is second trimester, I went to Canada, visited my family, um, had a great time, was in Vancouver doing a huge hike. I mean, it's um, the hike is the grouse grind in Vancouver. I think it's nearly two hours really, really high up. No problem. I mean, I wasn't as fast as I usually would be, but still able to achieve that. Then came back to Hawaii, flew to Australia, um, you know, in, in between. And these are also some great tips during the, um, during the journey is when I went and stayed with my grandma, I found a gym nearby and it was $15. I signed up for the week, just enough to move your body because, and this is why I got the trainer, the consistency is so important. So as soon as you let that go, it's really challenging to get it back. So even if you're just going to the gym or just going for a walk and getting out of bed or off the couch or taking a break, if you're still working, taking a break at lunch hour, it's going to help you so, so much to stay consistent. And you also feel good about yourself and a sense of accomplishment and achievement by doing that. So um, that took me up to about the third trimester. In the third trimester, which I'm in now, I'm pretty much done, is I started getting, uh, getting tired again. And even to give you an example, like the other day, I just, you know, couldn't, <laughs> didn't really want to move. So what I did is I called a friend or messaged a friend and said, um, do you have time to chat? Because I knew that that would get me motivated to get up and going. Truth be known, she ended up, when I called her, she wasn't there to chat. But I ended up walking with another friend and it just felt great. So if you are feeling challenged, feel like, reach out, see if there's anyone else that can exercise with you, walk with you. Um, just help you get moving and even if it means sort of stretching at the house, but do things that you enjoy because it's going to be a lot easier to motivate yourself if you enjoy it. Um, as far as exercising throughout the pregnancy, everyone has their different thoughts on it, but I often, I went to the gym, so especially in the second trimester, I was still doing weights, not huge heavy weights, but I was feeling great, you know, really um, getting my mind into my muscle, like, see, I still have my muscles left and I'm, <laughs> I'm due. I could, I could have a baby any day now, <laughs> which is incredible. Uh, and it makes me feel really good about myself. So just a few times a week, I went probably three or four times a week um, for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes because I was also walking as well. So it wasn't just doing the gym. Uh, I was quite heavy in, in the lower abdominum, so I couldn't run as much. Not that I'm a runner anyway. So as again, stick to things that you enjoy. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of my experience and why I think it's, it's great to be healthy and fit while pregnant because I still feel like myself. I've got this, I've got this bump, beautiful bump here with this healthy little baby inside ready to come out any day now. And it's just, it's just an incredible experience to be able to, uh, to go through. And I know with a lot of new moms, and I'll be one soon and I'll be able to share that experience when I have it, is that and I mentioned before, you know, you want to have that sense of confidence in yourself. You don't want to just be a mom. And maybe you do, but I want to be a mom and myself, right? So I think that's why it's really important to, to keep that sense of pride in yourself and your body. And, and even just the way I dressed it was comfortable but confident. And these are things that help you want to stay active and help you want to stay fit and not want to let go of, you know, if you've been fit all of your life, what you have. And if you're younger and considering having a baby one day, well, it's great to get fit now. It's great to get fit for any reason and to look after yourself and treat your body like a temple because 
it'll help you no matter what, <laughs> no matter what you decide to do in your life. And, you know, having the muscle memory, I, I put on Instagram, you have to check out my Instagram, but I said, you know, pretty much nine months pregnant, can't see my toes, but still have some abs, because I actually still have some abdominal muscles right at the top there. And that's just from muscle memory and being, you know, active and fit since I've been young and, and um, listening to your body as well. So I do encourage you to, no matter what stage of life you're at, start to listen to your body, get some expert advice when you can, just to get more intuitive, and then that way it makes it a lot easier to, um, to stay on track. And it makes it a lot more fun, and I know that when I eat bad food, I went to a couple parties throughout. Um, obviously, I can't drink, but when I had some food that was a lot really, really sugary, or food that I don't usually eat a lot of, it actually made me feel a lot more like down the next day. I know it sounds crazy, but because when you're quite intuitive with your body, you start feeling and noticing when you're not um, not quite right. So I did notice there was a correlation from when I would eat a lot of bad or sweet or um, foods that weren't for me and when I would eat all my healthy food and I ate tons of fruits during pregnancy. I know they say there's lots of sugar in fruit but I don't care. So much fruit during pregnancy and fiber is amazing for you. So these are all some of the tips. I mean we've got plenty more to come in the second segment and we'd love for you to call in or tweet any questions you have. Um, and we will see you back soon on the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Hi, and thanks for watching Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Justine Espiritu, and I host the Hawaii Food and Farmer series with my co-host Matthew Johnson of Oahu Fresh. Every week we bring on farmers as well as all the other individuals and organizations that help support a thriving sustainable food system. In fact, it's interesting to learn what others are doing so you don't have to be a Hawaii resident or producing food on Hawaii to be featured on the show. Like today's guest, Wyatt Bryson of Jewels of the Forest and Michael Lab Solutions. Aloha, thank you. It's been a pleasure being on the show. Um, I love uh, seeing what you guys do and I really support your mission. And uh, it's really nice being back in Hawaii. And uh, thank you again, it's an honor. So you can see guests like Wyatt every Thursday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, 25 talk shows by 25 dedicated hosts every week, helping us to explore and understand the issues and events in and affecting our state. Hello, I'm Marianne Sasaki. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii, where some of the most interesting conversations in Honolulu go on. I have a show on Wednesdays from 1 to 2 called Life in the Law, where we discuss legal issues, politics, governmental topics, and a whole host of issues. I hope you'll join me. Aloha. We invite you to join us on our Keys to Success show, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Our goal for Keys to Success is to provide a platform for professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. We have incredible guests from all walks of life, including politicians, successful business owners, leaders, entrepreneurs and authors. As this is a live show, there are live mess ups as well, which are fun to watch. Aloha and we'll see you on Thursday. Welcome back to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii for our second segment of being healthy and fit while pregnant. This is a really exciting uh, episode for me because I'm able to share my journey and experience with you. And I think one of the biggest gifts I have to give the world is to, to share experience and hopefully inspire you, no matter what stage you are in your life, to want to be healthy and fit and, and confident. And just being pregnant is another way that I can share the journey with you. So um, a few tips that I want to just sort of finish off on before we get to some questions. If you do have questions, feel free to tweet us at Think Tech Hawaii. Just all you do is put at Think Tech Hawaii, put your question there, and our production team will get in my ear and ask the questions. Hopefully I can help you. Um, the other thing you can do is you can call the Think Tech Hawaii hotline. So even if you're overseas, you can still dial this number. Um, just put the code in front. So I think believe the code for the United States is one. Um, so a few things that I want to talk to you about is consistency, which I did go through a little bit in the last segment. So basically, if you can try to be as consistent as possible in exercising even the days you don't feel like it, just to slowly just do something rather than nothing, because it's really hard when you get behind the eight ball. Uh, when it comes to eating, consistency means 
you know, trying, if you'd have a bit of a bad day of eating or, you know, there was times that I, yes, I had cake or this or that or had a dessert and, and that was great, but it didn't uh, get in my way of just continuously doing that. You have it and you get over it and the next day you eat healthy again. So consistency is really important because once you lose consistency, you lose focus and then it's very challenging to get back. Not to say you can't, it just it makes it a lot easier to stay consistent. Uh, be prepared. Uh, this is, I've done this all my life and that's why even if you're watching and aren't pregnant, just be prepared. Uh, if you look at my bag right now, there will be an apple and some almonds always. This way you're not going to reach for things that aren't as healthy for you. So it's really important to be prepared because there's nothing worse than being hungry and pregnant and having nothing there and then you just want whatever you see. I mean this is true for any case really. And a lot of water. Water is very important. Resting. If your body wants to rest, rest. You know sometimes your body wants to rest and if you don't have the opportunity to rest you just want to you know fill yourself with other foods or stimulants to keep you going but that's not good for you so if your body wants to rest let it rest if you're at work just give yourself a few moments you don't have to sleep when I say rest it just means just let your mind chill for a minute and that will help um, and listening to your body if if your body feels like it wants something then you just go and um, give that except if it's asking for cake all the time <laughs> um, and being self-motivated I mean it's something um, I pride myself on being self-motivated and quite disciplined it's something that you always need to work on but it's a great quality to have and if you can get self-motivated and feel a sense of pride from having that sense of self-motivation it gives you a lot more inspiration to want to do that so um, and I mean to be honest it's great when people look to me and say wow you're so healthy and fit while you're pregnant and to me it's like okay well I'm doing my job as a person here on this earth and being an inspiration to others. So if you can connect with a why you want to be healthy and fit while you're pregnant, do you want to run around with your little one or do you want to you know, be able to still look great for your partner or, or um, whatever it is, then it's important to stay healthy and fit while you're pregnant. So I'm just going to see if we have any calls or tweets coming in um, to ask about how to stay healthy and fit while you're pregnant or really at any time in, um, in your life. Ah, okay. Good question. How have my workouts changed? So how have my workouts changed? They're actually quite, I mean, to be honest, throughout my life I've done a lot of different things. I've done sports, I've done, I did a lot of boxing for a while and then I got into fitness modeling just to experiment with that, which was a lot more about uh, walking sort of cardio and weights. Uh, so my workouts have changed. Uh, first trimester, they didn't change too much. I was still able to do a lot of what of what I did. I was doing swinging the kettlebells and really getting my heart rate up and, and doing all those types of things. Um, yes, so that was that was fantastic. And there there I am. That was me in my first trimester. I think I would have been about mm, maybe like 10 weeks, 12 weeks pregnant, like quite on my way to being pregnant. I had this great trainer called Eric uh, in Lanakai here in, in Hawaii. And um, yeah, so there was me out there staying healthy and fit and swinging the kettlebell and doing squats and getting on benches and doing all kinds of things. So my, my workouts really didn't change at all the first trimester. Even though I was tired when I left my house to go there, I'd still ride my bike. And once I was there, I was, I was in full form and it was fantastic. Uh, it was just the motivation to get there. Um, yeah, we'd be, you know, swinging, <laughs> swinging, the, swinging the bell, swinging everything. It was, just, it was just great. I mean, these are all things that I can still do now. But to be honest, things have just changed slightly. Um, obviously, I'm not with the trainer anymore because Though I love a trainer, I'm self-motivated and it works for me to go to the gym and just train myself. So at the moment, in my third trimester, I'm still going to the gym and lifting weights. So I usually do like bicep curls. Um, I do some, a, a few push-ups, not many push-ups these days. Get on the leg machines, do a bit of leg weights, nothing on the tummy, uh, nothing laying down too long. Uh, a few months ago, I was still doing a bit of leg press. Just really uh, not as heavy of weights, not that I'm ever a really... Uh, heavyweight type person. There's some people that love to go to the gym and just stack the weights on. I'm more so get my mind and my muscle, which I learned from uh, Greg Dolman, who's a, a great um, fitness coach back in Australia. He was Lindy Olsen. She's a five-time figure fitness model champion who got me competing. So uh, he taught me to do the mind and the muscle. And basically what that means is it's working smarter, not harder. If you're going to do a squat, you do it really focused. And then get up and then down and up. It's not about how fast you can do it, it's about actually being in the moment and really getting it done while you're there. So, uh, mind the muscles. So I'm doing squats, I'm doing lunges, I'm doing um, my dips, pretty much most things that I did, except I'm just, just at a slower pace because, well, that feels good for me. And a lot of walking. If I you know, can get a chance to make sure I walk at least once a day, whether that means a beach walk or just walking into town, that's enough to keep me 
uh, to keep me going. So my workouts have changed slightly over time, but I'm still feeling um, pretty fit. Okay, my girlfriend is also pregnant. How can dads to be stay fit and healthy along with our partners? Oh my gosh, that's such a good question. Thank you. Um, I think this is really important because even what I'm saying to my own partner now is like, if I'm tired, can you please just like walk with me or just just help get me out of the house? Um, we've so one of the things we've done is sort of swimming. So even though he's at a different level and he's I'm I'm not a swimmer. So even if I was fit, I'm still not a good swimmer. I do a bit of breaststroke and he can actually you know do some some good swimming. So things that you can do together that you enjoy. But I mean, while we've been on holidays, we've, we've done hikes, we've um, gone for walks. I can still do while I watch him surf, I can still do squats on the spot and things like that. So a great thing for guys to do is to, uh, to get involved and to, you know, when you see your partner, if you can kind of see that she's starting to feel a bit, you know, tired or down on herself, even if you don't like walking, take her for a walk. <laughs> so those are things that you can, you can do because it might not be something that she'll ask for. She might not even know she wants it, but I can guarantee you once she gets out there, she'll feel a million times different and having your support along the way is something that's really, uh, really important for her to have. Um, so what can he cook for you is another question. What can he cook for you? Wow. <laughs> This is great. Um, yeah, there have been some days that I've actually been quite tired to cook. So um, the things that you can cook, uh, you or your partner, or like husband and wife, or whichever it is when you're, when you're pregnant, is just really a lot of lean meats, a lot of greens. Those are the simplest things. I mean, stir fries, stir fries with a bit of brown rice, uh, not too much starches, like star really, really starchy things can also uh, affect um, your, your tummy a bit. So um, yeah, like I said, stir fries, what else have we had? You know, omelets, things like that are great. Um, just anything. Uh, <laughs> we're getting some good questions coming in here. Is there anything that he should avoid eating in front of you? I guess it all depends on the person. To be honest, I'm, as I said, quite self-disciplined. So to me, you could eat whatever you want in front of me, and unless I really want it, I, it doesn't affect me. But, I mean, come on, you're, you're going to be a father as well, so make sure you eat healthy um, and support her as well, because the more healthy you eat, the easier it is for her to stay on track. So I think that that's only important and fair, and lucky you're not carrying the little one, so take that into consideration. <laughs> Any other tweets or questions coming in? Oh, okay, well... Doesn't look like we have any at the moment, so I'll just continue on having a little bit more of a chat about being healthy and fit while pregnant. I'm really hoping that these tips and um, inspirations helping you because, you know, to me, it's something that I'm really excited to share, and it's been a long, uh, long journey, but it's been a great one, and um, I'm really happy that I've been able to stay healthy and fit, and you know, feel like myself still, even though I have this little bump that I carry around with me everywhere. Um, so some of the other things that I could share with you is just keep um, continuing doing the other things that you like doing because that also keeps your mindset good. So if you like painting or if you like um, just different types of, you know, any inspiration, even if you like dancing, you can't dance the same as you used to or um, anything like writing, reading, anything that motivates you, continue doing that because how to stay healthy and fit also has a lot to do with your mindset. And the more positive you are and the more you continue doing what you're doing, I mean, still loving my show here with you all on Think Tech Hawaii, still just getting out and doing those things that make you feel like a sense of purpose in yourself. Because the more you do that, the more, again, you'll have pride in yourself and you'll want to look after your body and you'll want to look after the baby that's on its way. So that's another great thing that I'd always encourage you to do is keep being you. Because the more you you are, the easier it is to stay on track. Oh, <laughs> got, got another question. How do I feel like staying healthy with my family, plan on staying healthy? Well, quite luckily, we're outdoor people, and we really like being, you know, healthy and fit, and um, dad's always out there, or daddy-to-be is always out there running and surfing and doing his thing. I mean, he's very, very motivated. Uh, so as a family, I mean, I've, I've already organized all my strollers or prams, where, <laughs> wherever in the world you're watching this, to uh, walk a lot. So with the newborn, I am planning to do a lot of walking. I've got a big basket under the one of the strollers so that I can just walk. And you know, if I go shopping and get bits and pieces and be social. Um, also, I am considering joining one of those, uh, what do we call them, stroller pram, pram gangs, or you know, they have a lot of different uh, mothers groups where you can go exercise together. So I think that'd be a great way to stay social. So that's um, that's not as part of the family, but that'll be me with the little bub. But 
yeah, like um, yeah, lots of beach time with the family. Lots of uh, lots of beach time. We'll do some hiking. I'll get a bit of a uh, I'll get a bit of one of those um, one of those sort of I don't want to name drop or anything, but what are they? The baby Bjorn type things, so I can wear that around, and or Dad can wear it around, and we can walk the beach and still you know soon. Not until the baby's about six months can you actually jog with a stroller. Um, so doing that, those types of things, and just getting out and going to the markets, and I think it's just about moving. It's not always about um, doing something excruciating. You'd be surprised how much just moving and getting out and doing bits and pieces adds up. So, yeah. Oh, baby swim classes. Hmm, that is a great idea. <laughs> Maybe mom can learn to swim before baby. That will be a great idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I think that's a great idea. Baby swim classes. Okay, I might, I might get on to some baby swim classes. I can swim, just my head above the water, because when I try to do this, it's like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> be, uh, be sure to check me out on Instagram there as well. You'll be able to see the pregnancy journey, and, and, um, and over time, it's, you know, it's, it's actually, I quite, I look at some of the photos, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm that pregnant, and there's and the human body still looks like that, so it's pretty neat. Check out Instagram and you'll be able to share the rest of the journey now, so you've been able to see it all this way up. You'll be able to meet the little baby and then uh, carry on forward and seeing what types of things we're doing as a family, and I will include, I have about uh, maybe seven of my best girlfriends who are pregnant right now, so I hope you've all watched this episode, and if you have, make sure to share it with your mom's groups. Um, <laughs> well, they actually already have their babies, so moms to be groups. Um, or for the second one, I mean, some people have been pregnant once, haven't been able to stay healthy and fit because they weren't sure how. And let me tell you something really important that I can't take all the credit for this. One of the ways that I have stayed healthy and fit while pregnant is watching others. Because anything I've done in my life, I've looked to something and aspired to it. Now, there's a, um, a few Australian people, there's Chantel Duncan, who was really inspirational with her pregnancy being healthy and fit. I thought, oh, if she can do it, I can make this happen. So I would look to her Instagram to get inspiration. Uh, Lindy Olson, who was my, as I said, my fitness modeling coach when I did the competition from a distance, but she gave me guidance and also inspiration. And the other person who I think is really neat is um, Rebecca Judd. She has been criticized a lot in the media for posting her in her skinny leg jeans, which are actually maternity jeans, after having 11 days after having twins. Well, I say good on her because I know she's a healthy person. Her husband is a professional athlete, and she wanted to stay healthy and fit while pregnant, and I think that makes her a great mother. I don't think it makes her vain. I think it makes her an inspiration. So for women like that who are happy to share it and are being healthy and are being great role models, um, I would definitely, for all you other ladies pregnant, seek to um, find inspiration or something to aspire to. And don't let yourself down if you don't, you know, I'm not size two or whatever, she's in skinny leg jeans, but I know that from her doing that, I can do my version. So the main thing is be the best version of yourself, stay healthy and fit, enjoy it, and um, until next time, I hope that I can see you next week. If I'm not here, there will we'll pop someone else in my chair, not the baby. <laughs> and uh, yes, thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to watch any more of the episodes, you can always go to the Think Tech Hawaii YouTube and just look up Savvy Chicks. It'll give you every single episode we've done here. So it's a combination of healthy and fit while pregnant. We've got inspirational stories of mermaids and professional stunt women. And we've got how to sort your finances on. You know, our objective is to make sure that you make and live a healthy, fit, confident, and inspired lifestyle. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Aloha!